I just created this AI image editing app and this is how it works. I can upload any image. Let's suppose in this example, I'll just upload this image and now I can just mark an area in here. Let's suppose this particular area and now I can just give it a prompt and uh, Mickey Mouse and now you can see it has just added a Mickey Mouse in that area. I gave that same prompt and in here you can see it added this emoji of that Mickey Mouse. You know the shocking thing? I did not provide any sort of API key to use any sort of AI image generation model because this tool uses Nano Banana as an AI image editing model and this tool is 100% free. You don't need to pay for anything because this tool was recently launched by Google. So this is built by Google AI Studio and it can help you to create any sort of application. The most unique thing about this AI tool is all of Google API services and all of Google AI services, everything is integrated in this tool. So let's suppose if you want to use maybe like Google Maps or anything, so you can easily just like mention that, okay, build an app using Google Maps and then it will just build that app using Google Maps or just like based on your requirements and you won't need to provide any sort of API key from a third party service because it can just use Google API keys and Google services directly, which are already built in because this tool is already integrated with all of the Google infrastructure. So someone just built this Google Maps application using Google Maps services. So if you just give it a prompt or something like where is place with a tilted tower. So if I can simply just press enter and now it will just like locate that tilted tower in Italy and then it will just like move there. So yeah, I mean, it's just a basic application, but someone just built using this tool by Google. So in my case, this application that I just built, so it's not just like simply using Google Nano Banana API key because we are using that AI model to edit the certain parts in an image. And for that, you need to like add a paint functionality. You need to like make sure that the editing that is being done on that image is just implemented on a certain part of that image. So I can just upload an image and then select a certain area in that image and then ask AI model to create something in that particular part of that image. I can also download the source code of this application because if you just like go to this code and you can see this is a proper React application. This is not just like something very basic. This is a complete React application and we can just, just deploy it by simply just clicking on this deploy button and then we can just like deploy this application just like we do in Bolt and Lovable. So if you have been using Bolt and Lovable to create prototype for your idea, so I think this application by Google has completely outsmarted Bolt and Lovable and this kind of like web-based AI application developers because in this tool all of different services by Google are integrated there so that's why you can easily build using services by Google also one more thing it is using Gemini 2.5 Pro to write code which is probably one of the best AI model out there after I think Claude Sonnet 4 or 4.1 one limitation that you'll have with this tool is you cannot build backend inside this tool for your application because it just like creates the front end for the Google services so this tool that I just built is just like a front and it doesn't have a backend and I cannot build backend using this application because as it says here the current application is designed as a client side front end only experience this environment doesn't have the capability to run a backend server like one you might build using node.js python or go or connect to a persistent database like postgres sql or mongodb so it's just pointless for you to like just create a front end of an application and then you're unable to now launch that application because you just cannot build backend for your application but hold on I got a solution so now to like turn this basic front-end application that you just built using this tool now just to turn this into a complete full-fledged full-stack application like creating your database your backend your authentication system and all of that now to do that we can just like download the source code and then open that inside cursor or windsurf or kilo code climb or Roo code or any of those like local native AI code editors. And then we can just like ask those AI code editors like now build these components on top of your basic front end application that you have just built. So you can see this is my source code. I can simply just download this source code from here. And now my application has been downloaded. What I can do, I can simply just like copy this and paste that in a folder. So I just opened this source code that I just downloaded inside this folder. Now what I can do next, I can simply just copy this URL to this folder. I just opened that folder inside VS Code. And now next, now you can just use maybe something like Klein or Kilo Code or any AI coding agent basically that you want to use. So in our case, let's just use something like Kilo Code. Usually I use Augment Code, but in this case, let's just use Kilo Code. And here I can just like give it a prompt. You are inside a React project. Please understand it and run this project. So for now, let's just ask it to just understand this project and run this project. And later on, we'll ask it to like add a backend or add a database. So I'll simply just press enter. Now let's just see 
what it will do in terms of AI model I'm using Cloud Sonnet 4.5 you can use any other cheaper model so yeah I mean for coding tasks Cloud Sonnet 4.5 is the best model out there in fact you can use Gemini Pro 2.5 as well if you can afford that that model is comparatively cheaper than Cloud Sonnet 4.5 you can see Kilo Code has just analyzed this project and it has found out that this project is using React 19 with TypeScript white as the built tool Google Gemini API key for AI powered image editing and Tailwind CSS for styling so now since we are running this project locally on our computer so now we need to basically provide API key to make this project functional because in that tool inside google it was automatically just like using an api key but now we just need to like create an api key inside google ai studio and then provide that in here but for now what i'll do i'll just go back and now you can see it is asking me to run this project i'll simply just run this project i have not provided api key yet but let's just like see if our front end is running or not so now apparently this task is completed and our project is running on localhost 3000 let me just wait for it to load and perfect this project is running on my local host in here now let me just go back and right now i can just like maybe provide it an environment variable you can see inside this dot env dot local i need to just provide my chairman ipi key where you can get that you can just like go back to your google ai studio and here you can just like provide your chairman ipi key so this is google ai studio and here i can just like click on this get api key and now I can just like create an API key and then provide that API key in here. I just like copy an existing API key. So once you have provided your API key in here, now you are good to go. And now you can just like proceed and like start building your backend for this application. To do that, you can use something like Superbase or something like Neon.Tech so this is neon you can just like go to neon and here you can just like log in you can just like build your postgres database and like your complete full stack application using neon because this is a platform to build complete full stack applications and complete backend for your project similarly you can use superbase so either you can use neon.tech or you can use superbase let's suppose if you want to build an authentication system you can use clerk and if you want to integrate the payment modules you can use stripe so now you can just integrate any third party services because now your project is locally on your computer and you are using an AI coding agent to like integrate anything in your project. So if you're developing an application that uses the Google services like 3D maps or like maybe any sort of services, so you can use this AI tool by Google, build a complete prototype inside your Google web tool after that just download your source code import that inside your ai code editor just run it and provide any sort of api keys which are required and now just like further build backend authentication system and whatever you want so i think following this method actually gives you more freedom because if you want to use something like bolt or lovable so first of all you need a subscription for that which will be like a monthly subscription you can also build like backend for your application using bolt and lovable but for that you need to just like keep paying every month to keep that deployment active and live so i think this method is better if you just like build a simple basic prototype inside like this tool or any other tool and then just download the source code open that on your computer and then just like further build it on your computer and like just use any of these ai code editors and then just like build anything that you want you can easily now deploy your project on versal and you don't need to use any third party services to like pay for every single month because versal and netlify just gives you like free hosting until like a certain limit but you can easily host all of your passion projects on versal and netlify so i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you did please just subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well and also if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video